Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 1st. Well, thanks for choosing great news with Top Story. Today's news is grim, but you probably already know what we're going to say at the end. Now, this is Top Story. In Somalia, two car bombings killed more than 100 people and injured several hundred more. Authorities say it was a terrorist attack that struck a busy intersection in the capital city of Mogadishu, the same place where five years ago, a truck packed with explosives was blown up, killing more than 500. Who were these victims? Somali people who were recuperating from the attacks five years ago in the same area? Some of them recovered from injuries, some were disabled, some were orphans who lost their loved ones in the previous attack. The explosion targeted the education ministry. It shattered windows and sent shrapnel flying. Al-Shabaab has taken credit for the bombing. The group is backed by Al-Qaeda, the multinational Islamic terror group responsible for the 9-11 attacks. Al-Shabaab has been fighting for control of Somalia since it was driven out of power in 2011. South Korea and India are mourning the two nations filled with shock and grief after devastating accidents over the weekend. In Seoul on Saturday night, Halloween festivities turned into a deadly stampede. The narrow streets and alleyways of the Itaewon district were not made to handle the 100,000 visitors who showed up for celebrations. People panicked and the crowd of mostly young people crushed in on itself, killing more than 150 and injuring at least 80 others. Above all, it is important to identify the cause of the accident and prevent similar accidents. And in India, on Sunday, cables snapped on a suspension footbridge spanning the Machu River. Pedestrians fell 33 feet to the water below. More than 130 died. As authorities investigate, several factors seem clear. It was overcrowded with some 400 people when it collapsed, and a survivor remembers people acting rambunctiously. There were about 15 to 20 boys aged between 20 to 25 years who were shaking the bridge. Also, the bridge had reopened last week after some repairs, but according to local officials, no certificate had been issued that it was fit for public use. Don't miss out on the full site at worldwatch.news forward slash free video. You're going to be able to check out the whole show free for a week. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.